All right, folks, um, I'm going to do a little air diagnostic video again. Um, helpful ways to get around air problems and figure out what's causing what. Um, I've got one tank uh, leaking down um, excessively. It's going to be this tank right here. On um, Your trucks will be a little bit different. Uh, I'll go over a standard 939 truck here in a minute. But this is one way you can do it. Um, on your passenger side air tanks you got a primary tank secondary tank there will be two lines that are cotton jacket that will look like this that go to the treadle valve one is a primary valve which goes to your brake pedal um, primary off your primary tank the other one will go to the uh, fitting on the very very top It'll be the top uh, uh, air fitting on your treadle valve and it will have the uh, same air airline goes to it that goes to the uh, shutter stat so um, one way to tell if you know, you've got tanks leaking down especially if your primary is holding air versus your secondary is leaking off or vice versa one way to check this is to see if you have a brake pedal valve leaking or a diaphragm leaking each one of these tanks supplies the rear one one supplies the rear axle one supplies the front tandem axle Another one also supplies the front. However, the secondary is only applied when the parking brake is when the treadle valve is applied. All right. So basically, each tank has a line going to the back axle, and each tank has a cotton jacket line going to the um, um, treadle valve. You also each tank, the bottom tank has a secondary feed to the spring brake tank over there, which is a little bit different. My tanks are set up different than yours, yours going to be. But one way to do this is. This tank here, a second ago, you heard a little, you heard some hissing off, I guess you say. It's, it's basically the uh, KN23000 one way check valve sucking in air. It's pulling, you know, a lot of a lot of air through it. It'll start, it'll start, you know, squeaking when it goes off. Um, one way to do this, um, kind of not, not a horrible way to do it, but we'll go over a 939 series truck here in a minute, but. Um, go to your hydraulic shop. You should always have a couple of these anyway handy um, This is going to be a number if I can get it loose Get you a number 8 JIC cap a number 8 JIC plug What you'll do is you'll drain the air out of this tank or your top tank whatever tanks are leaking down on you um, You'll drain it out and you'll hook this on your fitting on this side to close off this tank so basically it only allow air to go out the other connections all right on most trucks you'll have an air you'll have, say, other trucks you'll have the airlines that go from the top tank all the way across to the uh, number seven check valve and then it'll feed the spring brake tank so you may have a leak going that way as well which feeds the dashboard so basically you guys are eliminating things what it could and couldn't be what I'm going to do is, this tank here is leaking down, which causes the wet tank to leak down, which is the only, only thing that services this tank, and this tank on your trucks will be the same thing, and only the wet tank supplies it with air. So you'll cap this line off, and cap this line off. This one here will eliminate going to the brake pedal. Alright, so your tank, you let your truck air up again, let it hold air. If it's still leaking down, you know you're looking at either a diaphragm in the back, which is unlikely, but... Um, being that your parking brake is set, then if it's leaking down, it's a little it's a little hard to imagine. But you know you got some kind of relay problem. Um, relay valve on the back axle could be leaking down, which would also leak out your intake stack. But you would not be able to hear it, so you have to pull the vent line off of the uh, the passenger side driver side framer over there and see if um, if it's actually leaking out of there too. So we'll get this all set up real quick and show you what we're doing. All right, look at the tanks. One's leaking down. This is that tank over on the driver on the passenger side. So my other tank's kind of holding up above 120. They were both at the same same pressure when I stopped a few minutes ago. So I'm missing still a few minutes. So you can see it slowly leaking down. And it'll drain that little five gallon tank pretty quick. And then the, the wet tank also feeding as well. So wet tank is actually pretty big on my truck. Most of your trucks are just small as well. So you see it leaking down right there slowly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drain them tank and drain the wet tank, um, install them fittings on it so it'll block the line off going to the treadle valve, 
Start the truck back up again, let it build up air pressure, shut it down, and see if it's leaking down anymore. So, we'll get it set. All right. Simple. Move the line, put a cap on it. I always leave this line here to open to start with because there should not be any air coming back down when you start the truck. This truck's running. There should be not be, get, get the air pressure built back up. There should not be any air being able to be, feed back out of this line from the shuttle valve. If you do, you know you automatically have a brake, pro, brake pedal problem. Um, so we'll do now we'll start back up get temperature and, and get the uh, pressure and we'll see if it leaks down All right, see so my bad With That line going to the treadle valve unhooked you will not have any pressure because it feeds off the bottom down there So what you basically would do is get the air pressure again max pressure and then see if you hear that the, the uh, KN 23,000 doing that little uh, hissing the little honking noise See if you got air coming by it. So. Alright. Had it holding air for about the past uh, 30 minutes. It'll leak down a good bit by now, but um, you hear that when you open it up. It'll leak on the uh, uh, turtle valve. All right, folks, we replaced the treadle valve. Uh, right now we're at 90 and 90. It's uh, 1.30 p.m. Let it sit for a little bit. Come back and see what's leaking down. Top one should leak down some. I got a wiper there. I got a wiper switch bad. Uh, leaking out some, but we'll check this bottom tank and uh, see what happened. That's the uh, tank we are working on earlier. Um, so I actually went in and replaced the treadle valve. Uh, with a new, with a one I had, an old takeoff one I had. So let's uh, see what it does in a few minutes. This here is the treadle valve. This is the firewall. Got the one long port. Um, you can leave all those fittings on when you top it out. Of course, these are your two air ports for your gauges. You can add two more if you want to add two more gauges. Um, but on most trucks, it's kind of useless. So uh, I believe I had a bad treadle valve. You can. Kind of hear it. You can. I mean, it's don't take much to move it, so I'm thinking it was just a little bit leaking by. So let's see the air tank leaks down. All right, it's now 1:55, so 25 minutes. Still holding just below 90. Still holding up. Oh, 90 so slow leak somewhere if I can find it um, as far as out here on your tanks one thing you can do is you can take your uh, line up your um, make sure you have a quick connector on it already the push lock just hook your gauge into that so you can pull off the lines and find out which ones are leaking in the, the quickest so I got a slow leak on a uh, um, windshield washer uh, switch so that's caused most of my problems for leaking down but not as bad as it was it was sitting there just pouring out air as fast as you watch you can say you watch it drop five pounds in a minute so that's it